Hello and welcome back. And now we're going to take a look at the copy of my Gene Sims record and a mistake on it. And this is a re release. This is the only re release soul record I got. So it comes with a re release of the poster. And I saw in a YouTube video that this thing looks slow, but believe me, it is huge, man. So, yeah, that there it is. That's how nice this thing is. So just plain white on the back. Ugh. That was scary. I haven't played this record yet. And I have played a few of the releases, and believe it or not, I'm not a big fan of them. They sound good, but I would rather go for original copy. It just feels right to me to get original copy, but they did good trying to copy the original copies. Um, I know it's what they're trying to do, and you can see this is a release because it says 2014. And the record's pressed on 180-gram vinyl, and I hadn't listened to it yet, but there it is. It's in very good shape. I just opened it out of the package, like, three days ago, and it has not been played. I did notice something that nobody on YouTube will notice. The record inside jeans is misshapen. Now, that's all that's wrong with the record. It's not misshapen like in a bad way. It's misshapen kind of like a weird way. It looks like somebody tried to like nudge it with a knife and it worked. Like they cut it a little bit off of it but like it wasn't in like the grooves it was just where the record starts so yeah and if you look closely well you might not see it but this is on the original copy too i do have a bad copy the original copy but it's a lot clearer to see it on the original copy and no it isn't <clears throat> So, yeah. And you can even see that that one's dried out, but I'm not going to show you that. But there's some dirt marks pressed in. You can see a little bit of them. Those are not from dirt. Those are actually marks edged into the vinyl picture. So, I'm going to come back with a new video.